Hello, Dragon Artists. Today, I am excited to introduce our first family fun activity. This is a completely optional activity that you can do with your mom, dad, brothers, or sister. You can do it with a friend or completely by yourself. It is going to be a guided drawing, so it, you can go at your own pace and pause whenever you need to. We will be turning ourselves into mad scientists. Ha 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 ha. I am Dr. Rickle, Miss Nicole's sister, and I am excited to share an awesome art activity with you today. Today we are going to turn ourselves into mad scientists. <laughs> and the fun part is, is that you can do it with your entire family. So get your little brother, little sister, older brother, older sister, mom, dad, friend, grandma, doesn't matter, or you can do it by yourself. Follow along with me and turn yourself into a mad scientist. Ha 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 ha. Today you're going to need some, just some blank A4 paper, a couple black markers, some, a pencil and eraser, and anything to color with. You can use markers or colored pencils, crayons, anything that you have. All right. So today I'm going to be doing a demonstration drawing a male and a female mad scientist. Um, the male mad scientist is going to be on the left and the female will be on the right. I encourage you to start off with a pencil. I'm going to draw on marker because it's a little bit easier to see. Now I normally like to start off by finding the center of my page and then just a little bit above that and to the right I'm going to draw the pupil or the black part of my eyeball and then I'm going to draw another small circle on the top and on, on the bottom. Then another circle around. Now that is going to be the eyeglass part and here I am drawing the rim to my eyeglass. We are going to now fill in the inside part of the uh, pupil of your eye and I can be going pretty fast through some of these drawings, so feel free to hit the pause button whenever you need to. So the, the final products or the examples just popped up and that kind of gives you a little bit of a reference uh, towards where we're going. Now we'll be drawing the girl and you can see that she has round glasses, but change these any way that you want to. You can also add patterns and lines as you go along. So now I'm going to start drawing the male uh, scientist's eyes. And this time I'm going to be drawing uh, both of the eyes at the same time. Again, I'm putting those tiny white circles in the eyes and that's where the reflection is. So we're drawing shapes inside of shapes. Now when I'm drawing the male mad scientist, I'm going to use a different shape for his glasses. The top part will be a little bit flat and the bottom part will be a nice round U. Now for the male mad scientist, you'll see I'm drawing both eyes at the same time. There's no right or wrong way. You can always hit the pause button. This outside line is going to be the rim of his glasses. We'll be able to add a fun color or pattern later on as we go. Using a small round oval shape to create a button nose for both my male and female mad scientist. And what for my female mad scientist, I've drawn a round uh, open mouth using some vertical lines to create teeth. Maybe she's got a small tongue down at the bottom. For my male mad scientist, he has a mustache. Again, I'm using an open mouth, using a, connecting, with, connecting it with a round U down at the bottom. You're going to go through and see different areas to add some details. Uh, you can change it up, use any kind of mouth that you want. Maybe he's just got a big smile mouth. It's all up to you. 
Now the next area is I'm drawing the, that side of the face right along the glasses but not going too far down. Then I'm going to draw a chin using a round line about the same uh, shape as the mouth and then I'm going to connect the side of the face down to the mouth which will create a nice round shape for our faces. The ears will go from the eyes almost down to the top of the mouth. You can add some eyelashes. I've only added them to the female. Sometimes it could be a little overpowering on a male uh, portrait. The rounded lines are going to be for the eyebrows your eyebrows. The more you arch your eyebrows, the more of a surprised or aggressive look that you'll have. For my male mad scientist, his eyebrows are going to be very similar to his mustache. I'm going to use zigzag lines to create a wild hairdo. Now I've added uh, the example picture there again. That's just to give you some ideas, but make these scientists your own. Right now, I'm adding a bow to the top of the female uh, scientist's hair. Those two circles that I just added on create space and depth, turning the bow into a form instead of a shape. Now I'm following the headline and connecting that. Now that now, She's gonna, before we add hair, we're just gonna keep adding on, and there is her headband. Now I'm gonna add a few layers of hair and some bangs on at the very beginning, but our mad scientist is going to have a bun on top of her head today, but you can change the hairstyle any way that you would like. Adding extra lines in there to the hair gives it more depth and space. It's also going to add a lot of extra rich colors uh, and give us more areas as we add the colors later on. For our male mad scientist, I'm going to follow the head shape and connect it up before I add on his wild hair. I'm going to draw two lines coming up from the outside of his head and use a zigzag pattern to create that wild crazy hairdo that I'm looking for. You can choose to follow this hairdo Maybe it would be really cool to add some rainbow colors along with it, or you can choose your own. Now, the last and final step is going to be to add the body on, which is going to be two simple lines going down the side, and my both of my mad scientists are going to be wearing lab coats. I'm going to add some buttons and a few extra details, but from here is where you get to personalize and accessorize your mad scientists. Now I am going to speed up the video just a little bit, but feel free to hit the pause button at any point. So now that I've gotten everything drawn, I'm going to go through and erase any extra pencil lines that I have and then I'm going to go back and do another outline with the black marker just to tidy it up and make my lines nice and smooth, make sure that I have no extra um, straggle marks or caterpillars. Now as you can see I'm also adding some awesome color here. Now as I'm adding it I'm using different uh, shades of browns and blues and pinks, so I'm using dark pink and light pink to add extra depth to my color. I'm mixing together warm colors and cool colors. I'm adding blacks and grays for the hair, but it would be really cool to have some rainbow hair or some extra highlights in the hair. So now that I've added the color to the scientist's face and clothing, I'm going to add a background. 
Now to add my background, I'm gonna find something around my house that has texture. And I have some bubble wrap here that is used for packing, but it can also add a really cool texture in the back. So you might wanna test this out on a piece of paper beforehand, but um, for here, with me, I'm just gonna go straight for it. So I put the, uh, the textured piece behind it and then I turn my color to the side and you can see the bubble wrap come through. Now I'm drawing a little bit darker closer to the face. And then I'm using a lighter green to start off with, but I'm gonna add some darker colors in the back. Turning my crayon to the side and swiping up to have some of that awesome texture th show through on my background. Now you can practice with different textures on the background or draw a science lab in the back or draw your own at home science lab. It's all up to you. Well, I hope you had a great time creating your mad scientist portraits and I hope that you upload them to your Seesaw account. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for creating with me.